A capacitor is defined by C equals Q over V. Capacitance equals the charge that the capacitor holds divided by the voltage across the capacitor. And you can derive that that's equal to times the area of the capacitor over the distance between the plates. So, if we charge a capacitor with a certain amount of charge and then change the distance, the voltage should change proportional to the distance. And we'll verify that by charging up this parallel plate capacitor and then moving one of the plates. That way we'll be holding Q, A, and epsilon constant, which means the only things that can change are V and D. As I bring them together, the voltage begins to disappear. Here they are about a millimeter away from each other. And when I separate them again, it comes right back. Now what if instead I change epsilon? In order to change the dielectric properties of the material in the capacitor, I'll have to change the material in the capacitor. Our normal parallel plate just has air in the middle. Our dielectric is air. So for this, I'll use two materials that have higher dielectric constants than air, glass and acrylic. We'll start with glass. We notice that as epsilon increases, V must decrease. And when epsilon goes back down, V can rise again. And with a different material, once again, V drops. And V rises. <laughs>